How's it going, everybody? Because of support of people like you, I was recently able to invest into a Taylor Guitars Model 214 CEK. The K stands for Koa Wood. This guitar is awesome. I've been playing the guitar for some time and I really do love it, though there are some modifications I'd like to make to it. For example, the 214 comes with plastic bridge pins and die cast chrome tuners. I've been wanting to replace those with the Taylor Ebony bridge pins as well as the Goto 510 Delta Antique Gold 21 to 1 ratio tuning machines. It also comes stock with a tusk nut and saddle, and I'd really like to replace it with a bone nut and saddle. Recently, I purchased a new guitar, also a Taylor. It's a GS Mini ERW. The RW stands for Rosewood. I purchased the GS Mini E after I wrote the song Mejnoon for Layla. I wrote the song, but it was a little uncomfortable to play on the 214. One reason why I got the GS Mini E, one of many, many reasons, was because it had a smaller neck, which would essentially make it easier to play because I do have smaller hands. Click the link to hear the song. Also, with the meaning of the song, I felt compelled to get the guitar as soon as I possibly could. This is a painting that I was introduced to. It's from 1908 and was made by this guy. I think that this painting captivates the story behind the song better than anything I could draw or say. I wanted to do some modifications to the GS Mini as well. Replace the nut and saddle with a bone nut and saddle, just like the 214. Ebony pins, just like the 214. And Goto tuning machines, but these ones are the mini ones. As you can see on the screen, I have a few different choices. It has finally come. New guitar day. Now believe it or not, I had to jump through some hoops to get this guitar. Even though it's a 2015, I had to wait until June to be able to actually receive it. This is a 2015 GS Mini E RW. The RW stands for Rosewood. The guitar comes standard with a tusk nut and saddle, an ebony fretboard, a solid Sika spruce top. It also has rosewood laminate body and sides, as well as the EST electronic system. New case day. So I got a hard shell case from SKB from Amazon, but unfortunately, the entire top of the case was bent, and as you can see, it didn't close properly. So I was able to get these custom pick guards straight from Taylor. They sent me a black one and a tortoiseshell one. Now making the custom pick guard is kind of a challenge. I uploaded the kiss image into Photoshop, cut it out and aligned it how we wanted it to go. My buddy Snoop runs Just Great Graphics in Antioch, Illinois. I told him the idea about doing a custom pick guard and he said he would love to tackle the job. This is Snoop. First we scan the pick guards. Once we scanned them, we printed the image onto a sticker. After that, we laminated the image. Makes it all nice and shiny. We then cleaned up the pick guard, cut out the image, and stuck it up. As you can see, Snoop placed it on there extremely carefully, took some time to make sure that it was perfect. It was a little bit of a pain, but we got it on there without any issues, and it looks beautiful. This is our second time around, just to put it on the black one so we have a backup. And thanks again, Snoop, for all your help. These came out great. I love them. Hit up Snoop if you need anything printed. So this week, I got a bunch of parts shipped to me. I got the tuning heads for the GS Mini, which are the Mini 510 Delta Series. I also received the bone nut and saddle for both the GS Mini and the 214. Some new sets of strings. And after about two weeks of waiting, I finally got these sent to me. This is Franco. Franco is a friend of mine. He is a certified luthier, an avid music lover, and he plays bass for the Chicago-based death metal band Roman Ring. So first up on the table is the 214. We're going to be doing a new bone nut and saddle, as well as the new Goto tuners. Thank you very, very much, Franco, for all your help today. I can't express that enough. I'm really glad to be able to bring you the work, and I'm really glad with the work that you did. It's awesome, man. The guitars play great. So as you can see, he's flying through the process right now and uh, putting the brand new tuning heads on the 214. 
Now these tuning heads have a 21 to 1 ratio. To give you a good idea, most guitars I believe have a 14 to 1 ratio, so these are quite a step up. Also, they look great and they feel amazing. When turning them, they're smooth as butter compared to the stock tuning heads that were on the guitar. Next up is doing the nut replacement from tusk to bone. Now, what was kind of funny about this bone piece is that it didn't want to come out. It wasn't that it was really, really strong glue, it was that it was cut almost perfectly and it just fits so snug. A few love taps and a couple pulls and that thing was ready to come right out. Now there was some leftover adhesive in there so he was filing this out just to be able to make it clean so we could fit the new one in there very nice and snug. There are no cuts that are pre-made for the strings. So the bone have to be cut, and that is exactly what Franco is doing right now. He's measuring the exact spaces, and then hammering down an indentation in the actual bone, which then he will file down with that little saw that you can see he's using right now. Here's an up-close shot of the nut. You can see the marks that he made in it. Woo! Up next is the saddle. So that was it for the 214. Just had three small jobs and that's a lot all we had to do. The GS Mini now, this guitar is brand new. I've owned the Taylor for a few years. This one I just bought. So I did cringe a little bit watching Franco, you know, take a butter knife to the top of it. But I trust him and uh, he did some really great work. As you can see on the screen, some of the new modifications that we're doing today is a new bone nut and saddle the new Goto tuning machines, the custom pickguard, and new ebony bridge pins. Success. Took a little alcohol to it, cleaned it up. To me it was really important to have this image included on the guitar. Here you can see Franco putting on the brand new Goto mini tuning heads. And once again, carving out a new nut and saddle. Restring it up, and we were good to go. Thanks once again for all your help, Franco. You are awesome. New case day, again. This one was actually perfect. Here we go. You guys ready? Let's do this. Here we go, in all of its glory. Here's the 214. Brand new ebony pins. Brand new bone saddle. And we travel up the neck to see the brand new bone nut and the brand new 21 to 1 ratio Goto tuning machines in antique gold. It looks beautiful. And here she is in all of her glory. You're looking at my new 2015 Taylor GS Mini ERW with a custom pick guard, a bone nut and saddle, the 18 to 1 gold Goto Mini tuning machines, as well as the ebony bridge pins. As you can see side by side, they do look much, much different. Now I have one more thing to do to the GS Mini, but as far as the 214 is concerned, it's pretty much all done. Here are some final pictures of the guitar. The GS Mini fits perfectly in the SKB case, which is awesome. Way better than the uh, dented one they sent me the first time. Now luckily while editing this video, I had time to get some new footage with the new camera I got. This guitar is really, really nice. I still have a lot to learn with this camera, but I thought I'd just take a couple quick shots of this and also show you guys the last piece of the puzzle, which is the custom truss rod cover. Leila Mejnan is a love story that originated as a poem in ancient Persian. In Persian, this means Mejnan for Leila. It took a little bit of research, but I was able to get the actual way that this would be written as it was originally intended to be when the story was apparently first created. To me, it's kind of like adding the name to my shield or the family crest to the shield, so to say. The final piece to the puzzle. Thank you so much for everyone who helped make this idea a reality. Thanks to Brittany for helping with some of the designs. Thanks to Franco for doing all the work. Thanks for Snoop for getting the image ready. 
thanks to uh, everyone I've bugged and asked questions on Taylor forums and uh, Taylor Facebook group pages, um, as well as the many different guitar stories that I've talked to who have been trying to help. So thank you guys very, very much. I hope you enjoyed watching.